Hello, statistics students. Welcome to lesson one, chapter one, section one, day one of statistics. What I'd like to do now is just kind of walk you through a few slides, so prepare to take some notes. All right, I'm going to share a screen with you here. And in theory, you should be able to see statistics overview, lesson one, um, 1 1.1, and it says screen sharing is paused. Why is that? There it is. You should be able to see that now. So the main thing about statistics is without data, all you have is an opinion. You can believe something very strongly, but I'm going to want you to back it up with data. So the purpose of this course is to learn how to analyze and gather data so that you can make informed decisions. You know, right now as I make this video, you know, half the country or more is shut down, locked up, um, stay at home because of the coronavirus and its associated illness, COVID-19. Um, is there any evidence that saying six feet apart from people does you any good? Is there any evidence that showing that wearing masks keeps you from getting sick? Is there any evidence um, to support um, shutdowns or not shutting down? Without data, without evidence, all you have is an opinion. So we want to learn in this course how to gather data and analyze it so that we can use that data to strengthen our arguments. Here are some definitions that I'd like you to learn. What is data? What is a population? What is a sample? Well, it turns out data is, you know, whatever you're going to record about something. It could be words, could be numbers. It could be any number of things. When we look at um, a population, let's say I want to know what the average height of the adult American male is. Then the population is the entire group I want to learn about, which would be adult American males. I'm going to have a hard time measuring the heights of all adult American males. So maybe I want to take a sample of adult American males. If I want to know the average height of adult American males, um, in general, that average height, we're going to call that a parameter of the population. If I take a sample of 100 adult American men and um, take that average height, that average is going to be a statistic. And it is a statistic. It is the mean, the average of that sample. So populations have parameters. Statistics have, um, I'm sorry, samples have statistics. So that's how we can remember the difference between a parameter and a statistic. A parameter. Um, describes a population. A sample describes a statistic. And data on page two of the textbook that we're currently using, it says it consists of information coming from observations, counts, measurements, or responses. If you're giving a survey, for example, you give responses. <clears throat> There are two major branches of statistics. Descriptive statistics, I need to move my desk around here a bit when I make these videos. Descriptive st ah, statistics is the branch of statistics that involves organizing, summarizing, and displaying data. Inferential statistics is a branch of statistics where we take a sample and we draw inferences about a population. 
In general, we're going to study descriptive statistics in the first semester and inferential statistics in the second semester. Think about this question. Why do we sample? Why not just measure the entire population we want to know about? And the answer should be pretty obvious. We don't always have the ability to measure the population. I mean, if I want to know the average height of the adult American male, then I have to get every measure, every man and measure his height. How am I going to do that? And while I'm working through that task, some men are going to die. Some people are going to turn 18 and become men. Um, that population, that height, average height is changing. It might be minus, microscopically changing, but it's changing every minute of the day. As people become adults, as people um, die, um, people change their citizenship. How can I even measure all adult American men? So we would just take a sample, and from that sample, we would uh, estimate what the average height of the adult American man is. So what I've drawn here in this circle is this circle or this oval represents the entire population. In the example I've been talking about, this would be all adult American men, this population. Here's a sample. Maybe I just go out and sample 100 adult American men. Well, if I go out and I, my sample is professional basketball players, that sample is probably not going to be representative of the entire population. It's not going to be a good sample. I'm not going to get the average height of um, professional basketball players is a lot taller than the average height of um, non-basketball players, for lack of a better term. So. We always want our sample to be representative of the population. There are ways of doing that, but one way that we're gonna study is just, um, we're gonna take a simple random sample and we'll learn how to do that. Let's say that I'm trying to learn the um, average height of adult American women. So this, this oval represents all adult American women. That's my population. If I want to know the average height of that population, that average height is represented by this Greek letter mu. You start down here at the bottom, go up, and then you make a little letter u. That's the Greek letter mu. And that's the parameter. That is the number that's describing the entire population, that average height. If over here I take a sample of adult American women, that average height we're going to represent with this um, symbol called X bar. And X bar is um, always an average, just like mu is always an average. Um, but it's the average height of this sample. So mu is a parameter. It's a number that's describing the entire population. X bar is a statistic. It's a number that's describing the sample. And many times what we'll find is data are what we think are going to be what's called normally distributed. It's this normal curve. In other words, a lot of your data is, or most of your data is centered here in the middle. If we're describing a population, then this middle number would be mu. If I'm describing a, a sample, that middle number would be X bar. So you can see here that near the mean, you have most of your data points. The further you get away from the mean, the more and more unlikely you are to encounter that by um, random. So what this means is that your professional basketball players, they're usually significantly taller than most other people. So you can see there is a much less likely chance that if you were to pick 
an adult American man randomly, he's going to be a bas um, that basketball player is going to be very unlikely to be chosen. Be very few of them. But here around the mean, yeah, most men are somewhere between, I don't know, call it, um, let's see if the average adult American man is five, nine and a half, five, ten. Uh, call it what? Between five, seven and six feet. Mo you know, large number. And then six foot five, not too many of them. Five foot two men, not as many of them either. So that's our introduction to statistics. The main things I'd like you to get out of this video are all those definitions. Let's look at them again. That was data, population, parameter, sample, statistic. The two major branches of statistics, descriptive and inferential. Um, that's all I have for you. Have a great day.